Hey guys, what's up? It's JDogs here, and we are back for another episode of Feed the Beast Monster here on the Spe Feed the Beast Spiritcraft server. So, last time we were checking out some cool stuff we have, and I've been hard at work. Our capacitor bank has not left full charge this entire time. That's pretty cool. We're going to take a peek over there here in a second. But I've been visited by a friend, uh... And I've already taken a little bit of a peek because I had to do some... I had a, an idea of what this is. Uh, it says, to finish your collection, Born to Kill 120. Uh, I had a pretty good idea of what this was. And so I've been busy all night trying to get everything situated. And uh, you guys will see once I open this what I've been working on. <clears throat> so as you can see, Born was really nice and brought us a bunch of... Iridium reinforced plates and as you can as you guys remember we were working on the nano suit armor from last time and this is going to allow us to finish our armor that's gonna be awesome uh, so I've been hard at work trying to get all of the other stuff done and I got the helmet fixed so the first thing that we're gonna do is come over here and we are gonna get all of our nano suit armor we're gonna put it down here because I don't want to put it on an accident and we're going to come over here, and I've got my own bit of a surprise for Born and, and everybody else that's still kind of playing on the server here and there. Uh, but first, I want to get this helmet made up, and actually we're going to go over here because some of the stuff is in my uh, ME crafting terminal. So first we want to make up that nano suit helmet. So of course we can't do that because everything's in our inventory. We're going to take that and that, and as you guys can see, we can now successfully craft the nano suit helmet. We're going to take that out of there, and that is complete. So that completes our regular set of nano suit armor. So let's take a peek at it real quick before we decide to change it up. And look back at ourselves here. Oh yeah. But that's not going to be good enough, guys. We need the full set here. So I'm going to take that off. And we're going to get back in here, and we're going to go over each one. So first is the helmet again, and it takes a ton of stuff to make this quantum suit helmet. I thought the iridium was bad. Um, you have to make more of these Lapatron crystals. You have to make more of these advanced circuits. There's a ton of stuff you got to make. Um, but it's, it's not too bad. It's just a lot of stuff that you end up having to make. A scuba diving helmet. I'm not sure why you have to make that. Um, and then what was the other thing? Oh yeah, of course, our, our iridium. Not torches. I wish they worked. Okay, is that not gonna, why is that not doing the thing? Uh, did I goof something here? We've got a scuba helmet, two advanced circuits, two iridium, and two reinforced glass. Glass, iridium, circuit helmet okay so this may not be fully fixed yet I may have to take a look at this and uh, we may have to come back so I may have a little bit more to do with this I'm not sure I wonder if I take this out of here and try to take it to a regular crafting bench see if that will work actually let's double check that we don't have to have something special now just says shaped IC2 crafting so let's get in here and see if that's going to work for us. Uh, use. Oops. Why is it? I wonder why it's not putting it in there automatically. Okay, so we've got two glass. Make sure we're doing this right. Nano suit helmet. Nano suit helmet. Now it's not fully charged, but I don't think that's a problem. We've never really had that issue before. Let's put all this stuff in here. I may have done it wrong. No? Okay, so I'm going to have to take a peek at that again, uh, see if there is a fix for that. But I have been going through trying to get some of this stuff worked out, and so I'm kind of doing some trial and error stuff here. Uh, let's see if any of these other ones work. So we've got the nano suit boots uh, that are going to upgrade to the quantum suit boots. And we need two rubber boots, two iridium, one of, another one of these lapatrons, and our boots. And, uh, boop. Let's just hit that and put them in there manually. 
So this, there may be an issue with this. Hopefully not all of them are messed up. Maybe it's just the helmet again. No. Oh, no. Okay, it did give it to us. You just don't see the icon. So let's see if that's going to work on the helmet again. That may have just been a glitch. I know where all these go this time. Did we? Yeah, we put that there. Um, oh, no. That goes there, and that goes there. So you can't see it. But if you click, there we go. Quantum suit armor. Awesome. So let's uh, let's get the leggings made up. Again, I think I'm going to just go ahead and do this each time because I don't think you can like shift click it into there. We're going to get the iridium put in. That is awesome. We need some glowstone. I will be right back. I need my glowstone. Uh, glow two pieces and we're good all right so we are going to get our armor cranked out now we're not going to have the nano suit armor anymore but we are going to have this awesome armor here so that's okay with me all right so there's our leggings and last but not least our chest piece now for this i had to make two more of these advanced alloys we need our chest piece we need lapatron crystals and four iridium reinforced plates and an electronic jetpack which we haven't made on this server yet mainly because we were able to fly with advanced genetics so I never really needed anything else to be able to fly um, but this is fixed also I don't know if this was messed up before it still says null but you can craft it um, it takes four of these uh, iron item casings one of these circuits two glowstone and then I used the bat box in order to create, uh, craft it so we're gonna click that Let's get our iridium in there. That is awesome. Get that in. Our lapatron and our electric jetpack. Oh, that's awesome, guys. We gotta check it out. We gotta check it out. I've never had quantum suit armor. Oh yeah, we are pimping in style now. Now I'm gonna have to charge this up. You guys can see that it's hardly charged at all. But I'm gonna get this charged up. Um, so all of that does work now and I have a little bit of a surprise we're gonna take a little peek and look back at ourselves here I've got a little surprise for uh, born and anybody else who's playing on the server actually I like the helmet I, that's kinda cool okay uh -huh. okay so I've got a surprise for born and anybody else who's on the server not only does the full quantum suit work now but I've also fixed the iridium drill so you can make that now I've fixed the nano suit helmet as you saw I've fixed um, and this was all part of a, a, a pack like small mod fix uh, so if you guys are interested if you have your own server or something like that and you're watching this and you need to know how to fix it uh, get with me or leave a comment down below and I will help you guys out and get you squared away but it also fix uh, a problem with something called weed X I have no clue what that is uh, an MG, MV transformer, the single-use battery, the personal safes, uh, electric jetpack, which you can see that we were able to make now, uh, raw carbon fiber, uh, the generators, uh, booze barrel, and diamond drill. Now it didn't really change that stuff. Basically all it did was just fix the recipes to where they now work. So if we go out here, I believe now, I don't think it's going to use the juice from my jetpack, but if we didn't have um, a jetpack going, we would actually be falling if I didn't have uh, advanced genetics going on. So that's part of the reason that that's not working right now. But anyways, uh, I've got a bunch more other stuff here that I'm going to get together, and then I'm going to come back to you guys. Um, one of the things I've been trying to do is not quite do so much derping around on camera. So I got some of this done for you guys. I'm going to get this suit charged up, get some things squared away, and I'm going to be back and we're going to do a little bit more work, and then we're going to call it an episode. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So I'm up here taking a look at these windmills, and uh, I've got the armor fully charged and everything. We're a little laggy up here, but I wanted to check on these, and I've literally only used just a few minutes for some reason on them and they are producing just constant constant power uh... this thing is constantly you know just kind of going up and down in power uh... right now we're using even more power because i wanted to see how close we could get and i'm going to fall down through here 
uh, how close we could get to see if we could actually make the uh, the energy storage over here start going down again. And normally what I used to have to do is turn on all the bee stuff downstairs. And so I've gone ahead and done that. And so far it's doing pretty good. You guys just saw that it's still fully charged. Um, I went ahead and charged up all this armor. <laughs> to charge this armor was insane. Um, in order to charge it, I used almost this entire MFSU. You can see it's still trying to get charged back up. So these things take a ton a ton of energy but you can see I've got full iron well full armor slots there so this is literally the best stuff that you can wear uh, in the entire game we're gonna put it up I, I know I've run around I've got all this armor and I don't wear any of it <laughs> like hardly at all um, but I do have it you know if I ever need it so but I want to go downstairs and kind of show you guys what I've been doing down here we've got more of the B DNA, which I don't think we're really ever, or the, well, liquid DNA. I don't think we're really ever going to fill this thing, only because it takes so much. Like, <laughs> this thing is either going slow, or it just takes so much to fill that. Because I've had this thing going constantly uh, a couple different times. And between taking a lot of diamonds, and it just takes... So many of the bees, like I've got tons of bees to, to melt down, that's not a problem. But it just, it takes a long time, and I, I guess I just got to AFK for a while and we might fill the tank up, but that's not a huge deal. I'm kind of trying to think of some things to slowly start wrapping things up. Uh, but I've got this all turned on, and it's using energy, and so far it's doing all right. I took a stack of the redstone blocks that I got from Adrian and tossed them in here so we can get more mutagen, and that's getting filled up. Uh, I don't think we'll end up filling both tanks. My idea was to actually empty this one and get the protein started into it um, through some kind of mob fa or uh, animal farm. But I don't think we're going to end up getting to that only because, you know, that's that's a little bit of a larger project to get into before we go to reset the server. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I did add another deep storage unit down here for all the refractory wax I'm getting because I really don't have much of a use for it right now. Um, the lava tank is constantly staying full, and I want to show you guys that also real quick. Um, and I want to check on the energy unit over here again real quick. See if it's moved. Nope, hasn't budged. <laughs> so, so far we have enough energy to constantly run everything around here. Uh, now this over here, still breaking down honeycombs, doing its thing over here. And uh, this part here, we've got so much of this phosphor, it's just crazy. And this is all going to create lava. So we have a constant lava source without having to use the nether. And I've got more sand than I could ask for, for just running it through there when I need it. And it's just, it's, it's a really good power source. It took me a while to get it set up. But to be honest, I, now that I know what I'm doing, I don't think it would take me that long to get it set up again. Uh, also, the windmills, surprisingly, surprisingly uh, good for, for power. Like, I really don't think I ever got into those very much. I'm just using the ones Adrian's gave me. Uh, windmill. Let's kind of look at those real quick. And I believe the ones that he gave me were low voltage, maybe? These are extreme low voltage. These are regular low voltage. Let's go up and check those real quick, because those do really give us a lot of a lot of power. Like right now, um, they're constantly, you know, running, and that's not a problem for making the 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 rotors that go into them or whatever they're called. So it's actually a really good uh, power source that I would say starting out would be these windmills. Now, I don't know how they, hard they are to make. Let's see which ones he gave us. Low voltage windmill. So it's the second one here. So the first one, um, basic windmill with a generator. Wow, that is super easy. Okay, and then LV transformer, another easy item. Uh, and that makes the extreme low voltage. And then four of those plus a transformer upgrade. Wow, that is not hardly anything to do at all. And then the next one, four of those, and another upgrade? Wow, 
Is that right? So go to go from 32 to 128, it's the uh, pretty much the exact same recipe. Transformer upgrade, extreme low voltage windmill. Yeah, wow. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? It's the same recipe all the way up to extreme. And it just takes another up. Wow, that is that it seems OP to me. Like that's an extremely easy recipe. Basically, if I made two more of these, we could make the next level. And then, so, I mean, you do have to craft each thing each time, but that's that's not really that much of a recipe. Wow. Okay. So definitely the next time we get into a server where we're, we have the ability to use windmills, I definitely think I'm going to use those. Anyways, um, I know we kind of derped around a little bit after getting our armor done today, and I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys and... and go over a few things now we are going to be resetting the server pretty soon and I think I'm going to start doing um, the next couple episodes where I go and kind of take a look at people's bases so I'm going to try to get them together for base tours and stuff like that before we get ready to shut things down and just kind of take a look at what they've done with their places and probably the final uh, episode will be um, me showing off wishes stuff and, you know, taking one final look around here before we reset. So as I've said in the previous episodes recently, if you guys have suggestions for what you would like to see as a mod pack, there's tons of mod packs out there. So let me know what you guys think and uh, we might take it into consideration. We're looking at several different types of mod packs right now, several different ideas of what we want to do. And so feel free to put your input in and let us know what you think would be a cool one. Uh, and I believe that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave your comments, suggestions, criticism down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And as always, if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos every day of the week. And I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Feed the Beast Monster here on this Feed the Beast Spiritcraft server. Take it easy. Peace out.